This video is about how to make our robot drive straight ahead and then stop at a black line. Let's get started. This is the robot that we'll use. As you can see, it's just our standard robot, but it has a color sensor mounted on the front. So go ahead and attach your color sensor to the front so that it points down at the surface like this. The sensor should be close to the surface but not touching it. After you've attached your color sensor to your robot, we'll start programming it. Okay, let's get started. First, we'll make our robot drive forward in a straight line towards the black line. Okay, let's start coding. First, we'll make our robot drive forward in a straight line towards a black line. So we'll start out with this move tank block. that will drive the robot straight ahead. But for this project, we won't tell the motors how long to run. We'll just turn on the motors like this. Just click on. And let them run until the color sensor tells them to stop. This will cause our robot to move straight ahead toward the black line. So how do we stop it at the black line? We add a weight block like this. What a weight block does is it stops the program from advancing to the next block and it waits until something happens. What does it wait for? Well, it waits for whatever you tell it to wait for. In this case, we want it to wait for the color sensor to detect a black line. To do that, we bring up the weight block menu and select the color sensor. Because that is a sensor that will tell us when we have reached the black line. Next, we select the compare option because we want to compare the color sensor's measurements to whatever measurements we expect from a black line. Next we see a list of the color sensor's modes. As you already know, the color sensor has three modes. The color mode, reflected light intensity mode, and ambient mode. We'll select reflected light intensity mode because we know that the color black does not reflect much light. So when the sensor runs over something that doesn't reflect much light, it will know that it has reached the black line. Now we have to select the compare type. We will select number four, less than. We choose less than because we want the robot to stop when it runs over something that reflects less than a certain amount of light. Okay, now what percentage of reflected light will signal that the color sensor has reached the black line? Good question, but I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let you figure that out. Here's how you do that. Turn on your robot's brick and connect the brick to your computer. When you plug the brick into the computer, you should start to see some numbers down in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Look at the port number that you plugged your sensor into. I plugged mine into port four. And I'm seeing numbers on port 4 of my computer. Make sure that the color sensor is in reflected light intensity mode since that's the mode that our program will use. You can set the color sensor's mode by clicking on the sensor port. That will bring up the hardware page. Click on that same port on the hardware page and it will allow you to select the reflected light intensity mode. You can see all the modes listed there and you would just if it's not selected already, you would select Reflected Light Intensity. Now you can return back to the programming page by clicking the Back button. Now place the color sensor over the black line. What values of Reflected Light Intensity does it measure? I'm seeing a 6. Now put the sensor over a part of the surface that does not have a black line. My value jumped to 93 or 94. 
What are you seeing on your screen? So now you have a decision to make. What value of reflected light intensity do you want to enter here in your program? Remember, whatever number you put in the threshold value field, the robot will stop when the color sensor measures a reflected value that is less than that number. So make your decision and enter that number into the threshold value field. Okay, so the program will pause at the weight block until the sensor detects a black line. While the program is waiting to detect a black line, the motors will continue to run. So what do we want to do when the sensor detects a black line? That's simple. We stop the motors. If we stop the motors as soon as the sensor detects a black line, the robot should stop on top of the black line. So after the weight block detects the black line, the code will move on to the next block. If we want the robot to stop after the weight block detects the black line, the next block must stop the robot. So after the weight block, we will put a move tank block which will stop the motors. To stop the motors, we turn them off. That's it, just four blocks. That's all you need to stop your robot when it reaches a black line. So give it a try. Feel free to experiment. Instead of just stopping your robot when it reaches the black line, can you make it back up? Maybe you can make a turn and head in a different direction. Can you make it work when the sensor is in color mode? It should be possible since the color sensor can detect black and white when it's in color mode. If it can detect black and white, then it should be able to stop when it detects a black color. Can you make it work when the sensor is in ambient mode? Maybe you can come up with some other ideas. So go ahead and give it a try and have fun.